Touch. Touch. Ready? And we're underway with another Pride Fighting Championships. I'm the Fight Professor Stephen Quadros alongside El Wapo. Boss Rutten. And welcome to the show. Round number one for Pride Fighting Championships is 10 minutes. It's the enduring round. The endurance round. You know, with a round like that, a 10 minute round, you have to fight more strategically, you know? You can't really blow everything out in the first two minutes because you got a lot of time to go. He's dragging him over the floor. And he jumps over into mount. You know, in the full mount, I always say go higher. Sit higher on the chest. Yeah. The, the opponent on the bottom has... Uh-oh! <laughs> That's an early one. Looks to me like he recovered. Wow! Recover quickly. Oh, we've got a cut. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what a punch! Oh. The covering up, trying to survive the onslaught. Blasting those punches down. And that cut is looking bad. He'd better be careful that the doctor doesn't stop this one. Yep. Oh, I like that. That was beautiful. Nice reversal. He's not even dazed from it. I thought he was going to be at least a little dizzy. One, two, let's go. Step the outside. Keep control. Don't chase him. Let him miss and right away comes back. What a combination. Oh, but he's returning the favor. I always say that at birthday parties, how, how many times these little kids ask you to hit you in your stomach? You know, and there's always that one kid that hits you unannounced while you're breathing in, and they almost go down, but you have to, like, get your poker face up. Yeah, but doesn't that kid hit you below the belt? Yeah, most of the time we just wait for him outside. Another takedown. Timing is everything, and that's something that you get from drill after drill after drill. And when that happens, you see a beautiful takedown like that. They say to become a master at something, you have to do it 10,000 times. That's a lot of times, actually, if you think about it. 10,000 times. Oh, he reversed it. Big left hand. Nice control from top position. Pushing him away, trying to create some distance. Flying knee lands right on the button. Beautiful left hook and it landed. You know, this shows that these guys are in great shape because if you're in great shape, you can take a punch. In the clinch. Oh, man, he caught him with a good knee. Big takedown there. Great reversal. Keep the half guard. Control his hands. There's the open guard. Kicks him out. Very wary of getting hit, but he stands up on his own. Three minutes left in the round. Oh, beautiful double leg there. Beautiful pass to sub. Full mount now. Oh, and he maintains top position. Pressure, pressure. Way to work. Head control, take the back. Wow, back to... And he's got him locked up in north-south. And he's got back control, and they're face down. Mataleo is what they call it in Brazil, the rear naked choke. And he's moving away. He's out. So hard to get the rear naked choke with gloves on as compared to with, without gloves. Oh, that's a big difference. Side control once again. And there's the half guard. Very smart here. Oh, figure four. One minute left in the round. Keep the head control. Keep the head control. He's on the verge of escaping. Nope. And he escapes. It wasn't close. Just kicked him away. Stands up cautiously. Oh, 
Oh, what a punch! Beautiful, oh, that's it. Hell yeah, that was a one-punch knockout! Yeah, that'll seal the deal. Wow. Sean Shirk with a spectacular victory. Man, that was a good shot. That's it. Let's take a look at it. Right.